asking how the fish is caught. That is a true tell sign. You know, for me, the way they grade, well not for me, but the way they grade sushi fish, the quality of sushi fish, is by um, the, not only the freshness, but the visual appearance of it, the way fish is caught. So there's several different ways to catch fish, anything from one hook, one line, which is called troll caught or pole caught, to things where they string hundreds and thousands of hooks for miles long and the line sits there all day and it hooks fish, they sit there and they basically are stuck and stressed out on a hook all day to just going in and netting everything. There's something called gill netting as well where the holes are only a certain size and the fish will swim into the, into the net and the head gets so far and the fish can't go further so when the fish retracts itself, the gill the gills get caught in the net, thus it's called gill netting. So these fish will sit in these gill nets for hours upon hours, half the day, and of course suffocating and dying. That stuff right there would never be approved for sushi fish because the fish has gone through way too much stress. The meat is, the, the meat might be, the flesh might be battered up. So for example, when you see, Carl, when you go to a seafood counter, if you see the head on a wild caught fish like salmon, if the head is on it, it simply means that it was hook and line caught. If there's no head, it means it, it means that thing got mangled in some kind of net, in some kind of contraption. It got mangled and it's not good enough to be to for you to see the whole fish. Hmm. So that's a really good tell sign if you're out and about as far as in, in a um, in a fish market, in a fishmonger. 